This blunt cut metal works. It's July 6, 2016. And I promised before that I want to uh, take a blade from 8670. And I supposed to be a chopper on this pile in there, but I only get this little guy. It's very thin. It's uh, 0.1 inch thick. So you can see it very thin. And this one never pre-chipped before. So and I sharpened it so they were slice uh, you know single paper. It's not perfect right now because uh It, it's going to be a beam. Anyway, so I'm going to cover up the chip uh, so that uh, well, it mostly going to be the uh, they're going to work this part of the blade. So, and I'm going to do a quick measure of the uh, edge. I'm sure that this tape will come up as they interact. I mean, but. Uh, and I want to do a quick measurement for you of the edge, of the uh, bevel shoulder. It's, okay, really hard to see. I will remove my finger, my hand here. You can see right there. Hopefully, you can see it. It's really thin. You can see right there. So it's it's fifteen thousand or something like that. It's, it's kind of really thin, and I shot when it's about fifteen degree per side. So I'm gonna take my hand, my finger up the knob, and you can. I know it's hard to see right now. Um, but overall, with this thinness. And with the sharpening bevel, and I bought the slice from book, I mean, not from book, uh, this uh, printer paper. Uh, so, what? The point is, uh, <laughs> we'll see how ooh, nasty. Okay, so it's not as sharp as right now. You gotta have a little you know, ding in here because I would uh, abuse it before. But don't worry about the imperfection of the sharpening because uh, it will get worse. So I put on my eye protection, put on my glove. Now this is a fairly small knife. So, and I have to be careful I don't have a big finger gar here. But uh, it's going to do. This is an old cutting board, I mean, that's iron board, and uh, I need to make it small enough to fit into the recycling bin. Of course, I can just fold it because it, these metal are not that thick. But, oh yeah, this is a 64 Rockwell. And uh, it's much higher than the manufacturer's you know, Max Rockwell, which is 62. Uh, the reason, actually, if I had done that, if it was any softer steel, I would have massive roll. I mean, it would roll with this sharp, this edge, this thin, it would have a massive roll instead of, uh, you know. So, uh, you're going to, there's no pretty much sunlight, but you can see if there's reflection, big major reflection or not. See, you don't see, because you know, it's hard enough, I mean it's strong enough to resist this. So, I get going to something like that. Again, this is not <laughs> very thin, but I cannot chop it. I don't have enough. Uh, I would try to chop some here. You 
can see. I hit one as hard as I can, but usually it warned me out pretty quick. And uh, yes, you would see them at and see, well, you know, they 64 rock well. I mean, usually the blade would break off together, not a little damage or minor damage. So, uh, I see a chip. Okay, there you go. So these things are very bouncy. Okay, so there it is. And also you can see the thickness of the blade. I mean, this is uh, looking for trouble, kind of deal. And this bouncing in the way it's put on here, a lot of lateral. So it's not really a fair test for anything. If I put on over here, where the vice hold tight. And we'll be doing a lot better job. I will try it on this tip over here. Okay, so far it's okay, see? I'm going to put next to the device. You see, the cup right there in the there, and there's no problem. So, I mean, when you do lateral, I mean, that you get a dummy doing things. Yeah, I mean, uh, it it go get a little bit on and go to get a ceiling, but I will cut. And you know, a little frame behind there. It's really hard to cut, but why don't I cut vertical on this column right here behind it? Okay, it will try to cut the one behind there as well. Split the column. Whoops, I'm going to break something. In my knife room. Okay, beside that chip, I did silly thing. It's right here, beside that. And I just torn through this column. Right there, you can see. Okay, and it's bouncing everywhere and lateral forces. And this is what the damage. Okay. Okay. Here the edge view. And so if I let me get my caliper, I will show you the depth of damage. Okay, beside the chip, the chip depth is to thickness of this, that the cross section. So the chip went up that far because it's silly thing in the. But for all that banging, I actually you can see there a lot of thing, but do not really. Maybe one tiny little roll or something under here, but not really a chip. So I don't see anything really big enough for me to measure. But let me say, I got a red mark there, that's quarter inch uh, deep. So I will see how, how the uh, thickness of quarter inch inward inside of this. Okay, quarter inch thickness for this seven and bevel is this. So it's because it's got a shallow, I mean these are the grind here. It's really shallow to test because again it's it's a thin blade. So let me uh, finish up something by uh, cutting through this at least once the frame. Ta -da. Well, I think, uh, yeah, I'll repair it from now on. Except for the silly part. Uh, I would want to, uh, come on, do one more chop or two chop. Produce some damage. Try to produce damage. There are little roll. 
but you can say this as when there the chip when you have combination with chip and a little ripple that means the edge is extremely strong it's not soft but at the same time it's not brittle of course when you pry something sideways like this it will chip so this 8770 at 64 Rockwell is incredibly tough with this geometry here I show you all right well thanks for watching oh yeah this I use crystal weaving foundation I'm mean, approach that I'm going to uh, uh, contribute to science so all right